Hey guys, welcome back to another Sweet Home 3D tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to get new textures, new furniture, new models that we can use in Sweet Home 3D. Um, all this is free, so we can just uh, open up your web browser and we're gonna search um, Sweet Home 3D. It's actually the same website. Oh, okay, it's, I'll include the link here. It's sweethome3d.com. It's the same website um, that we went to. And we don't have to get them from here, but there's just some really good free ones here. So it's under support on the left-hand side. We can go to 3D models and just click on this. And it has actually a lot of different model packs we can download, like an entire pack. This one has 469 models and it's under the free art license. Um, some of them are like Creative Commons licenses. Some of them are public domain, like this is here, these, these 3, 100 3D Blender models. And so there's all these different ones. But if we want, want to find just a roof, we can just type in, in the search bar on the top right, we can type in roof. Because in the last tutorial, we were trying to get uh, add a roof to our model, and there were no uh, roofs pre-installed. And so, oh, this actually isn't the one, but if we do a, how did I find that last time? Mm -hmm. Let's just do, a, just go to google.com and type in sweet home 3D roof. And I think it was, um, this one right here, roofs on 3D models page. So I'll include the link of this too in the video if I remember. So this just shows a couple different just models and it tells about how the licensing works. So this uh, LAL is a free art license. I'm not actually super familiar with that. I'll have to read up on that one and see what the usage rights are with that. Create, uh, CC0 is just public domain, very open. You can use it for just about anything you want to. And then CCBY is Creative Commons Attribution License. So that just means if we use these um, commercially or if, if we, any, any time we use these or share these or publish them, we just need to provide attribution to the artist or the, the place we got it from. So just be aware of that. And I think these are all the CCBY, Creative Commons Attribution License. Anyway, to download the model, let's say we want this blue one here. We just left click on it. It brings up this download box. It's a .zip file. And we just want to hit Save File and OK. And then it saves that to our computer. It saves, my, it saves it to my downloads folder and it's called uh, Torture R Dios Blue, 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 Blaue. Maybe this is a German made. And so to get it into our Sweet Home 3D, we just need to go to Furniture and then Import Furniture. Or if it was a texture, we'd import a texture. I believe the roof is classified as a furniture though. So we go Choose uh, Model here and then we just go to uh, where it's downloaded, our downloads folder. Come on, let me open it up. Uh, oh, it took a second to, uh, and then I just find it, which is this one that I just downloaded right here. I go to that download that I just did and click okay. And then it shows an example of what it looks like down here. Okay, cool. Click continue. Uh, it shows some, some different perspectives of it. Top view, perspective, left view, front view. All right, cool, I like this a lot. If the model rendering looks incorrect, then we want to fix some of it. We can invert or something, but everything looks good. So we'll say continue. And then we can choose the name of it. We'll just keep the name how it is. Category is gonna be uh, bathroom, no. Category of this, well, there's not really a roof category. I want to create a new category for it. But, and for the time being, I'll just put um, miscellaneous for the category. Our, the, the standard default width is going to be six feet by four feet by five feet. That's okay. I guess I'll just leave all that. Make it movable. Yeah. Is it a door window? No. Is it a staircase? No. And then the starting elevation when I first bring it in is going to be zero. I probably want to change this to eight because it's a roof. So I'll change it to eight feet. And then the color, I'll just leave this blank too. And we'll just go continue and then finish. And now I have that brought in here. So now I can actually bring this in. Uh, if we draw up some walls real quick like we did last time, we can actually uh, bring in a roof and put it on here. We just left click, drag and drop, and we see this roof panel appears. And then we can kind of drag and put it on the point of our roof. Oops, where was I? I was confused on where I was. So we'll put it right there, and we can even have it hang over a little bit. Ah, go where, go to where I want you to. I think if we hold down the Alt key, it'll get rid of that snapping. So if ever something's getting stuck and you can't move it past a certain point, just click and hold down the Alt key while you're moving and it won't snap to those points anymore. So we'll put it like right here so we have a little bit of overhang. And then we just double click on this and we can change um, everything about it. So we can change the width 
to match our our wall that we drew, which is like 25-ish feet. So we'll go OK, and that makes it 25 feet wide. Then we can drag and move that over here, uh, and then we can make the uh, this other part here. Actually, I think we can change that. Hit cancel. I think we can just grab onto here too and change it like that. Oh, that changes the pitch of it right there, and then this one changes the uh, yeah how far over it is. So we can roughly do that, and then we can right click and go copy, then right click and go paste, and then we have a second one, and then we'll just we can just rotate this one around. So we just rotate it around like this, and we can create a second roof. Hold down the Alt key so we don't get our snapping bothering us. And roughly, we've kind of put a, a roof on here. So you can kind of see how that would work. If we had a sloping wall, like we could change this wall to make it a sloping wall. But that's roughly how we can um, kind of get a, a roof in here. And then since this is a blue roof, I don't think we can change the... Can we change the texture of it? Let me see. Oh my goodness. So we can even change the texture of this roof. So that's pretty cool. So we're, we're changing the pattern. We're not really changing the texture because you see it already has a texture on it. But we're changing the the texture within the texture basically. That's pretty cool. Anyway, that is doing, this is kind of the second part to con continuing on from the last video of how to add the roof in there, but it's also how we can add in these different packs and these different, um, these different, yeah, texture, we have textures and 3D models that we can add in. So go ahead and uh, you can download this entire zip file and just import a whole bunch of them at once, like this 335 textures. We can just download all of those at once. Oh, and just so I don't get into uh, trouble here, let's find that one. If we go to uh, roof, let's see here. What did I type in to find that? Sweet home 3D roof. Let's go back here. And I want to just do this properly. I want to give attribution to uh, whoever I can for this. So I don't know where the attribution is. Um, Anyway, I guess we'll just give attribution to Sweet Home 3D. I think maybe they were the producer of this, but we appreciate uh, whoever created these models sharing them with us so that we can use them in our designs. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you found it informative. Go ahead and catch me on the next one, and, uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, see you later.